hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video now if you're new consider hitting that subscribe button giving this video a like it truly does help the channel out we are here once again with an after the theater thought Ooh. does that look better or does that make us look worse it, it makes you lighter it makes me just look worse you guys okay let's take it off let's not have that negativity i am done looking nice for you you guys so today we came to see spencer which is possibility that happened one three-day christmas weekend um for princess diana i do remember princess diana i remember when she died i it was a sad sad time i mean i was little but i remember it I mean, she was a freaking princess, so like, yeah, and she was adored and everything. Um, this one doesn't know, I don't know, you know Princess Diana, right? I know of She her. knows of her, but like, she didn't even exist, she wasn't even thought of, you know, when all that was happening, but I do remember. Uh, but this was uh, 1991, kind of around the time that she was deciding to leave um, Charles. It's um, directed by the same guy who directed Jackie a couple years ago with Natalie Portman about you know Jackie Kennedy after the assassination of the president. And so I was looking forward to it because I really liked it. I liked the way it was shot and everything, but I will tell you this, it is a very dull movie. Uh, very dull. I kind of caught myself like, <sighs> It does star Christian Stewart. She did a really good job. I'm not gonna lie. But she still has like that Bella. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like little gestures. Yeah, but there's also Princess Diana. Yeah. That's also who she is. And those are the gestures. So you can say that Bella was like her audition for Princess Diana. <laughs> like this is who she was meant to actually portray. Because we do have to get past her and everybody from the Twilight um, era take him away from those i mean robert pattison he's doing a really good job i'm pretty sure after he plays batman we're gonna forget about hopefully forget about edward i mean i love me some twilight don't get me wrong but you know it's kind of time to get him out of that even though i am mentioning it here <laughs> but what were your thoughts on it i enjoyed it like you said it is has a little it's dull but it's the story of her life it's a story of a portion of her, her life. life i guess how you expect uh a person's normal born life even though royalty having so many different occasions throughout the day the outfits i really love the costumes of mm -hmm. how, what she was wearing what they had had her wearing and all that the location seemed really nice did they actually build the set or did they get permission to like film there um i don't know i'm probably it, it would have been so cool if they actually because some of the scenes they look like it, yeah it looks like actually like on set maybe they got like a replica close enough castle feel i really don't know yeah. i i didn't do my research <laughs> very well for this particular review i do apologize guys <laughs> i try to at least have a couple facts for you guys um when i do these reviews i think you guys enjoy them i enjoy them well i guess that's all for me it's it, it was really nice and mm -hmm. how everything was portrayed of, mm -hmm. of this portion of her yeah it was a, a rough three days yeah. so much anxiety it just kind of shows you how being the queen no not the queen being the a princess. princess isn't all like glamorous ah, you so. know there's so much anxiety I, I mean i felt her anxiety you know she's like this wild horse during that time it's also when uh, she was being photographed a lot so like the royal family just pretty much had enough with her of course when we saw the kids um harry and william i was like oh yeah they go they go <laughs> william with hair <laughs> a big old full <laughs> set of hair and you can just truly see the love that Diana has for her or had for her kids still does, I'm sure, you know, up, up beyond the grave. And it's weird seeing uh, Chris and Stewart play him all. Yeah. <laughs> but like, where she played her so well, like I actually like saw her as Diana. Like yeah. she really, really did really great. And I was actually to, able to look past Kristen Stewart and actually see her as this like character. I honestly don't recall her having bulimia. I really don't. I I I don't know if that was like a thing that was out. Probably was. But again, I was really I was young when everything happened. So and I'm not something that really like looked into her story um, like that. So it's always just like whatever you hear and stuff. But I've never like 
actually gone in there so that was something new for me before we give you our score um again don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new if you're somebody who just doesn't like like movies that have like a bunch of stuff going on and happening it just has a lot of dialogue you guys then it's gonna be like just more, more like a mellow chill kind of movie um i feel like older people especially yeah older people especially mm -hmm. are gonna be the ones i really enjoy because they're gonna know princess diana even like from like my generation even though we were little but we still had that love for for princess diana you know it's like it's freaking princess diana and she really did um it's like she she went through a lot of like emotions and stuff like that what are you making it i'm gonna give it a medium medium i'm giving it a medium as well if you've seen spencer let us know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you, did you hate it was it just not for you do you recall princess diana were you a fan do you still love her are you planning on checking this movie out or not all right guys that is it from us today until next time see you guys at concessions bye